I'm super excited today because last night I checked my mailbox and I had this baby waiting for me. Ooh. So this is the Etude House Any Cushion Cream Filter Cushion Foundation. Took a little bit of time to get here, but it's finally here, you guys. So the Any Cushion Cream Filter is supposed to have a really nice glow, help with the moisturization of your skin. So this is ideal for those of us that have dry skin. And it also comes in five shades, which hello, five shades is a lot for a cream company. So I was super excited to see that. So the Any Cushion Cream Filter is supposed to give you that morning glow, which I don't know about you guys, but I never wake up with a morning glow. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not getting enough sleep. I don't know, but I just don't wake up with my face looking fantastic. So going over the shades very quickly with you guys from lightest to darkest. Now I only have one shade here, so unfortunately I can only swatch this one, but I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of what I can tell from swatches, pictures, things online that I've seen. So the first shade is vanilla, which seems to be the most lightest and neutral shades. So now, Petal is the second lightest shade, I guess you could say, because it is very similar to vanilla, except it has a more pink undertone. So for those of you guys who like to go for a more pink undertone cushion foundation and you have fair skin, I would definitely recommend Petal. Next, we have Beige, which is another neutral base, more on the yellow side of cushion foundation shades. And then we have Sand, which is the shade that I bought. And I bought this one because I think this is closest to shade 23 in most Korean cushion foundations, which is usually the shade that I go for. Last but not least, there is a tan, which is the darkest, so it looks like it'll probably fit about an NW30. If you guys are concerned with that, definitely check out swatches online, like I said. I'm just kind of explaining to you guys to the best of my ability what I've seen and kind of what I think. So I did get the shade Sand, which is technically, I guess, the fourth to the darkest. So we will see how this goes. So Etude House is really changing up their packaging. I noticed that they're getting a very slim profile on their cushions. Now with their other kind of recently launched cushion foundations, which is the Real Powder Cushion Foundation, which I have a full review on, I will link it down below, and the AC Clinic Cushion Foundation, they kind of launched that whole really slim profile. So just to show you guys, this is the Real Powder Cushion Foundation. Uh, packaging and then here's like an Innisfree one, a Mamond one, and what is this? A more Pacific. So you guys can see Laneige. It's much 3CE. <laughs> April skin. The any cushions that Etude House has been coming out with are much slimmer in profile. Now I'm obsessed with this packaging. I think Etude House really knocked it out of the ballpark with coming out with something that's very eye-catching, looks almost high-end, but it's definitely on the low end as far as price goes. So I love this holographic effect. It's just so fun. Again, love the slim packaging. And then inside we have a mirror, the cushion puff, and also the foundation. Of course, the safety guard, and then the cushion itself. Now I noticed a lot of Korean companies have been doing this recently, which is launching cushions with the netting over top of the cushion itself. Now that's meant to evenly disperse the foundation itself or the BB cream or whatever is in the cushion more evenly on the puff, therefore applying it more evenly on your skin so you don't get more areas that have cakey coverage and then areas that don't have as much coverage. So that's kind of what that is for. Time to ruin the puff. Oof. For reference, like I do have dry skin, and I'd say I have right now probably about an NC25 in MAC foundations as far as my skin tone goes. Oh. <laughs> Definitely has that Etude House smell. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it definitely has like a bit of a stick to it, which helps the foundation adhere to your skin better. Now as you can see, it didn't really cover my acne here. Um, I would say this is about a mm, low coverage cushion foundation. Nothing too crazy as far as coverage goes. Okay, so now I have this half of my skin covered in the cushion foundation and this side doesn't have anything on it. Like I said, I definitely say that the coverage is light at best. I really like the finish of this. I was concerned because usually I don't go for the 
moisturizing type of cushion foundations because I just feel like they look too dewy on my skin and I'm not really for that dewy look. But as you guys can see, it's a pretty natural dew, so I can live with that. As far as blending onto my skin, I feel like it was super blendable, super easy to work with. It feels actually very light, which is nice. It doesn't actually feel like I have any makeup on at all, so I like that. My skin looks like with the any cushion cream filter all over my face like I do in all my first impressions I'm not going to use any concealer or powder or primer I only have a little bit of sunscreen on my skin obviously to protect from the sun rays but nothing else because I never want to affect how the cushion is going to wear itself so yeah overall I actually really like it so far so we will see if it gets a lot dewier than this throughout the day or how this goes. So I will check in with you guys, show you guys some close-ups, and then let you guys know what I think about it at the end of the day. So I will see you guys in a couple hours. with my first impressions review of the Etude House Any Cushion, what is this thing called? Cream Filter Foundation. And I've had this on now for about seven hours because it's now 4.30. So I'm gonna update you guys on kind of how it's wearing now. First of all, appearance wise, it's kind of weird because it never seemed to oxidize during the day. So I feel like my face still looks really light compared to the rest of my body, but just brighter. Like it doesn't necessarily look like the wrong shade. It just looks a lot brighter than the rest of my body. Now I feel like the lasting ability of this, I feel like a lot of this is kind of gone. Um, it didn't start off with the highest amount of coverage, therefore I can still see like my under eye circles, pimples, marks, all that kind of stuff, but those were visible from the get go. So I wasn't too surprised about that, but I don't really feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, so kind of depending on your preference, whether you like that or not, you might like that it doesn't look super makeup-y and doesn't look super heavy or feel heavy, or you might prefer that it has more of a finished type of look. So far, I think it's all right. Like, I'm not seeing anything super impressive or revolutionary or that I couldn't replicate with another makeup product, but I will continue to wear this through the day and check in with you guys. to go take a shower and wash my makeup off, but of course I had to finish off the day by sharing with you guys how the Any Cushion Cream Filter looks on my skin. I can never remember that name. So now I've had it on my skin for about 10 hours, so it's quite a long time that this has been on my skin. Overall, I feel like it's pretty much worn off at this point. Um, I have to say it never really set completely. It still kind of felt a little, wouldn't even say sticky, it just kind of felt wet throughout the day, so I did get kind of like the occasional, you know, hair stuck in my face and clumpy mascara fall out onto my skin, so you will see that in the close-ups. But yeah, um, it's all right. I don't think this is anything special. I love the packaging, I think that's what it really has going for it, but if you're obviously buying makeup to use it, and not just do look at the packaging, um, that might be something you need to think about. So I feel like it, it wore off pretty much around the four or five hour mark. I'm sure if you set this with a powder and used a primer, obviously it would last a little bit longer. The coverage is not that great. It's actually very low coverage. The finish is actually what I really like about this because even though this is the end of the day, I still don't think this is unbearably dewy. It's probably a little bit too dewy for my liking just normally, but I wouldn't 
be too upset if this is what how dewy my face was at the end of the day. So on my dry skin, this actually worked really nicely. So for being a moisturizing cushion, I actually like that aspect of it, but that's pretty much it. And I also like the fact that they have five shades, which is also really nice. So I'd say I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Like it does the job, I'm sure, with a little concealer, powder, and a primer. This would work a lot nicer. However, just as it's as a standalone product, it's alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions with me. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!